Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't easy to get them and this was only the third time in my life that I actually set eyes on them. The first time I wasn't quick enough with the camera, second time I got a photo and the third time now I got a short little mini video clip. These little elephant shrews are a southern African endemic. That means they only occur in some parts of the southern African countries. That includes Botswana, Zimbabwe, some parts of Mozambique and South Africa. According to the IUCN Red Data List, these little guys are not threatened, so they fall under the class of the least concerned mammals. Their size, it's about 260 millimeters long, with the tail being slightly longer than that of the head and the body shape, and they weigh about 60 grams. Now their distinctive features is that small little nose, that's where they get their name, the elephant shrew, because it looks like a little trunk. Also with the elephant rock shrew, or the eastern rock elephant shrew, that white eye ring is distinctive. And the fact that the tail has less hair than that of the smith's rock elephant shrew gives it away. Their diet comprises mostly insects, but scientists have gone through their little fecal pellets and they've discovered that only 60 to 90% of the times do the fecal pellets hold insect uh, remains where the rest is plants. Now what they've also discovered is it's not just a certain amount of insects but it, it's an array of different insect species with the majority being ants and termites but they also go for flying insects like your butterflies, moths, flies and in some cases also spiders. Now they use their speed, agility and the quick movement to catch these little guys. So from the shades of the rocks, they will dart out and grab their prey, devouring it quickly and then dart back into the shade. With breeding, these little guys are monogamous. They will choose a single mate and then mate with them for the rest of their lives. The gestation period is eight weeks. Now for this small little mammal, that's actually a really, really long time. They give birth to precocial young and what that means is that the little babies can see when they're born, they're hairy and within a couple of days they can actually walk around and run around themselves giving them that small little fighting chance to run away, hide away when predators are about. It's mostly two sets of twins that are born during the wet summer months between September and March but the majority of that is around December and January. The young reach sexual maturity at five to six weeks, with the females being able to give birth to several litters during their lifespans. These little elephant shrews are diurnal. That means they come out during the day to forage, to hunt, and do most of their activities during the day. But when it is a full moon or there is a lot of light, they will come out at night also. They are mostly solitary. The ones that I've seen were just one at a time but some other times they're seen in pairs. They are fast, agile and sure-footed amongst the boulders and rocks. Really easy for them to get away from eagles, snakes and raptors when danger is near. When they are alarmed, they communicate with some loud foot drumming noises. Now they also make some high pitch sounds. When they make this sound, they actually open their mouths quite wide, their little nose goes backwards and this high-pitched sound can barely be heard by the human ear. They also communicate with scent. Now they've got some scent glands and they use these scent glands then to leave little messages between the rocks and boulders and some vegetation around their territories. These scent glands are situated in the corners of the mouth, behind the ears and at the base of the tail. Their lifespans have been recorded in the wild at up to six years. 
and some have been reported in captivity of only about an, a year and a half. Now, not much is known about the lifespan in the wild. The rock elephant shrew are host to numerous parasites. Many of them are ticks that carry human and zoonotic diseases. Some of these parasites may cause paralysis and some of the livestock. So you can imagine that livestock farmers are not too keen on having these small little critters around on their properties, which is really unfortunate. I uh, really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below in the comment section there. And also, if you haven't yet, click on the subscribe button and see what I have in store for you next week. Bye for now.